go back to the base computer. Archives terminated. Select new task. Begin decryption. Decoding 16, 16, 16. Message follows. The traveler finds their wings. Fly to us and claim your place among the stars. All right, possible distress signal. Encoded signal received, coordinates log, reach the signal. W to take off. I'll circle around and look for a good spot to land near there. Sometimes you can actually find the spot that you're going to. Ah, it's probably this freighter. Freighters have a landing pad in the middle. So it won't cost us any launch fuel to take off. So we'll land there. You see it's green? Use E and it'll direct you to that. E to get out. Notice it moved to the top there. Log damaged, partial records available. The signal has led me to the wreck of a freighter. Colossal fragments of metal scattered across the landscape. Were these messages nothing but the misfiring circuits of a long forgotten ruin? Nestled among the debris, I find the pilot's log, blinking, awaiting input. Request log. Instead of displaying the ship's log, the terminal spits out a strange sequence of numbers. They are followed by a short message. The anomaly comes for the stars. Take flight. A schematic for a hyperdrive is attached to the end of the message. So I take the blueprint. I pull the blueprint from the computer. But this hyperdrive blueprint is for a conventional starship, not a freighter of this size. Someone placed this here after the crash, hoping it would be found. Hyperdrive takes 125 chromatic metal and five microprocessors. Okay, it wants me to construct the hyperdrive. But before that, let me show you how to do a freighter. Okay, you use F. And you see this cargo pod? E to highlight it in the, in the F visor. And then you go there. We're going to open that. Says destination reached, but this is plate. But you see here it says steel reinforced. Make sure you're on your mining beam and shoot the reinforced. Okay, now, that should be right there, the cargo pod. So go to the terrain manipulator. See, it's sticking out right here. Exit. 
You will need to know where the exit's at. Because they'll give off radiation when you take the items out. Press E if it lets you. Okay, we'll remove the goop, which we can later um, process into nanites. We got some nanites. Get out of there to get away from the radiation. Now use F again. See a cargo pod, 102. Cargo pod, 66. Let's go to that one. Switch to the laser, mining beam. Shoot the damage panel. They're all very similar locations. So if you remember where I went for these, the others should be in similar spots. Install the hyperdrive. Tab. Go to your starship. I'll put it over uh, over here. Needs chromatic metal and microprocessor. Okay, I have enough copper. We'll do the chromatic metal first. Um, let's check out the unknown building. Landing here was, taking off from here is free anyway. And at the buildings, there's a good chance that there's a landing pad. a crash spaceship. It's an S-class crash spaceship. Oh my goodness. is the symbols for this beauty right here. In fact, think we try and repair this and keep it. I will claim the ship. Hermetic seal. 
metal plating. It's got a hyperdrive. To repair the shield, we're gonna need sodium nitrate 13. To make sodium nitrate, We'll refine the sodium. The cockpit is adorned with the trophies of dead creatures perched on every available surface. At the controls sits a tendrilled hunter, its body and face lacerated. The dank smell of blood assails my nostrils as I fight back the nausea. The black box reveals the pilot was attacked by something whilst in flight, but it's unclear what. I could strengthen the warning beacon in the cockpit, but it will leave me vulnerable to attack. I'm going to search the ship for signs of life. I discover a technology blueprint. The creature that causes carnage is, carnage is, thankfully, long gone. Teleport receiver requires three wiring looms and an antimatter. Okay. Thirteen sodium nitrate. See, I forget if it's 13 or 26. While we're here, we'll get the buried technology module. All right, let's repair the shields on this first. Photon cannon. Let's move the launch thruster down here. You see the shield strength 311. Move it next to the shield. Now it's 313 a little bit more. Uh, pure ferrite and sodium nitrate. So I need 50 pure ferrite and 30 sodium nitrate. First, the pure ferrite. Okay, now the ship has photon cannons. Now, I will dismantle this unlicensed technology. 
Am I out of space? So I have about five slots on here. I will dismantle. That gives me a wiring loom, which is worth 25,000 units, by the way. Okay, I'm gonna manage my inventory a little bit. And then I'm going to fly off Nojo's Sentinel 14. That's going to be my new ship. <laughs> 